There's scientific consensus on a lot of things. On climate change. The best scientists in the world are all telling us that our activities are changing the climate. On HPV vaccine. The majority of cervical cancer cases are avoidable if we vaccinate against HPV. And that deeply burying nuclear waste is a good long-term solution. So you would think that the public could agree on these issues. In many ways, one would hope that that's true, right? The information that we learn about science ends up getting filtered through our prior beliefs, through our prior values, through our religious views, our ideologies. And as a result, the exact same piece of scientific information means very different things to different people. Compliance for mandatory vaccinations is about 90% in the U.S. But the HPV vaccine that protects against cancer from a sexually transmitted virus is only mandatory in three places. You can frame HPV in two ways. You can either see this as a vaccine against cancer um, and leave it at that. Or you can see it as a vaccine that, as some people saw it as it was rolled out in Texas and elsewhere, that would lead to promiscuity. So why do we disagree on scientific consensus? What's important to keep in mind here, when we process new information, the way we as human beings do that, we put them on mental shelves. I don't look at every piece of information as if it's the first thing I've ever seen. I basically have in my head a number of mental shelves that allow me to quickly categorize new information. So HPV vaccine, the HPV vaccine is a great example because I can either put that on a curing cancer shelf or I can put that on a on a sexual intercourse among minors or among people who we think shouldn't have that yet shelf. Let's see how that works. We're going to introduce you to two composite characters. We're calling them Marcia and Marie, and they are proxies for a whole bunch of studies that have looked at this issue. First, meet Marcia. Hi, everyone. She's a working professional, college educated. She has two children, and she's scientifically literate. Now meet Marie. Hi, everyone. She's a working professional, college educated. She has two children and is also scientifically literate. They are alike, but so different. The government should stop telling people how to live their lives. The government should put limits on the choices of individuals so they don't get in the way of what's good for society. It's not the government's business to make laws that keep people from hurting themselves. The government should do more to advance society's goals, even if that means limiting the freedom and choices of individuals. Their cultural and political outlooks on the world differ, and researchers have labels to describe them. Marsha has a hierarchical and individualist view of the world on climate change. I really don't think there's a climate problem, and certainly not man-made. The HPV vaccine. I mean, I don't know why my daughter has to be vaccinated against a sexually transmitted virus when she's only 12. And she thinks it's safe to bury nuclear waste. It's going to be buried very deep underground. I don't see why that's a problem. Marie's worldview is egalitarian and communitarian. On climate change... Of course climate change is happening, and we humans are making it worse. On the HPV vaccine... As soon as I can protect my child from diseases, the better. And on burying nuclear waste... I'm really skeptical about burying it. There are earthquakes happening in places we never thought. their worldview affects how they assess risk. So cultural cognition is a version of what's, what's, what we've known in, in psychology for a long time as, as motivated reasoning. And motivated reasoning says we as human beings don't reason in a perfectly objective or neutral way. Scientific information may be fact-based or neutral, but how we interpret that information is not. We assimilate reality into our biased worldview. We don't adjust our worldview based on the reality, but we, we adjust reality based on our worldview. In fact, the more scientifically literate, the more you stick to your beliefs. We protect our identities. It is all about identity protection. If I'm a strong conservative or a strong liberal, I don't want facts to constantly challenge what I really hold deep down to be true. In an increasingly politically polarized world, how do we fix this problem?